Property Inheritance Whenever we create an object, we create that object onto a layer. And whatever layer that is, the properties that that layer has, the object also has. Let's go ahead and open up this file here. You can find this file by opening a new file and then navigating to chapter 8 of your project files and then opening blocks and tables imperial. I'll go ahead and cancel this because I already have the document open here. I'm going to go ahead and pan over to this section over here and I'm going to zoom in just a bit and we'll look right here. Currently I have the power layer selected. Let's go ahead and select this item and you can see it's on the appliances layer. I'll go ahead and hit escape again and select some more objects just to see what layer they're on. This here is a lighting layer. I'll hit escape again. I'll select this green line here and you can see it's on a different layer. I'll go ahead and select this line here and again we're on a different layer. Whenever an object is created, we create it on that layer. So these objects here, for example, have the properties of that layer. The properties that layer has can be found here in the layer properties manager. As you can see, for the power layer, which we're currently on, indicated by this check mark, has this color, this line type, and this line weight. So any object created on this layer will inherit these properties here. I'll go ahead and close this out for now. And let's go ahead and have the power layer selected, which we already do. And we'll go ahead and create an object onto that layer. I'll select circle. And the thing to notice is that in my properties, I have red set as my color. So when I create this item, it is red instead of actually inheriting the properties that that layer has. Now that's because the properties here will override the properties that are set by the layer. So you have to be careful when using the properties panel here. I'll go ahead and set this to buy a layer and I'll go ahead and create another circle. And as you can see, this time it has the same color as the layer it's, and as it's supposed to have. Now let's check one more thing. I'll go ahead and hit escape to make sure I have no commands activated. I'll select this red circle here and I'll press control 1 to activate the properties panel. And here you go. You can see the properties of that object, which is a circle, has a color red, it's on the power layer, and the line type and line weight are set to by layer. If I want to go ahead and change this circle back to this layer here with the same color, I go ahead and go to the properties, go to color, and then navigate to by layer. And now I fix the object. And it has the same properties as the other objects on the layer. I'll go ahead and select both of these objects and delete them. Let's go ahead and pan down here to this dining room. And as you can see, these objects here aren't on the right layer because the objects next to them have a different color. So if I select this object, it's on the power layer. If I go ahead and hit escape and select this object, it's on the lighting layer. So we got to go ahead and select this object as well and this one too. We can come up to the layers and we can switch it to the proper layer which is power. And now it has the same properties as the rest of the layers. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect. So whenever you're creating objects you can come here to the properties and you can set up the properties of that object but what you should do is set up your layers with the appropriate properties that you're going to want and create the objects onto that layer. It helps in managing those objects as well as the layers themselves and it makes sure all of your objects are consistent with each other. But if you ever want to override the property of a specific object on a layer for any particular reason, you can always select the object, come to properties, and set the properties of that object specifically.